Hello guys, I am Fuley, I need a new central processing unit for my new personal computer, apparently this is the best computer shop in town so I will buy my CPU here. Hello Fuley, I am sure I can help you with finding the correct central processing unit for you. Hello Kyan, I am looking for an excellent all round central processing unit for my new personal computer and would like some advice on which one is best. Follow me to my CPU section of my shop. Here you can see there are 4 different types of CPU that I sell. There are Pentium CPU which are very cheap and not very powerful so I only recommend them for very simple tasks like typing a word document. There are also advanced micro devices central processing units that I recommend if you want performance on the cheap. Over here is the professional CPU that are incredibly expensive and have many cores. These are useful if you do lots of professional work that is processor intensive like intensive video editing or 3D modeling. Over here you see by far the most popular section of the CPU area, the consumer CPU. These will fit in almost any personal computer you want. I think I want a consumer CPU as the professional ones look far too expensive for me and I still want some performance. There are three types of consumer CPU. These are i3, i5 and i7 i3 processors have two cores and hyper threading and are useful if you don't want to do anything intensive. i5 processors are our most popular choice. They have four cores and no hyper threading and are useful for everything except multi-threaded applications. The i7 is the most expensive and have anything from four to ten cores and hyper threading. They are beneficial for only intensive tasks. I would be benefited from a few cores so I will definitely choose an i7. Now the next question is if you want to overclock, the 6700 does not offer overclocking and is cheaper. If you want overclocking you will need a Z motherboard and a CPU cooler but you can get higher clock speeds with overclock CPU. I would like to overclock my CPU so I can get higher clock speeds and will happily pay for a Z motherboard and a CPU cooler. There are many options on the amount of cores. The higher core counts have lower clock speeds and are more expensive but are useful for intensive tasks such as rendering. I will go for the middle one. I want a 6 core CPU. Now you have narrowed your choice to only 2 CPU. The 6800K is £420 and the 6850K is £560. Which one do you want? The 6850K looks too expensive for its benefits over the 6800K so I will choose the 6800K. Okay you can buy the 6800K CPU. That's £420 please. Here's £420. Goodbye. Goodbye.